ass up. Yeah, which boy we have fight over in a 2024? They may wicked boy, yeah? Eh? Which boy me have fight over in a 2024? No talk to me there. The two biggest dance I'll fight over me. You understand? Well, I know. Yeah, JJ. Hey, I'll be a thing that's going on, you know. I you know, so I never look. Let them see fight till the fight done. Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about Jada Kingdom reacts and laugh at Steph Landon new diss track named Dead Girl Walking. So Steph Landon dropped a song not too long ago. A lot of persons are react to it, but you don't know Jada Kingdom is like she not really rate the song based on what she posts. You understand, my people? So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna listen to piece of it. You know, Steph Landon kind of changed her flow a bit. She kind of also sound like Tammy Lee to me now. But we're going to talk about it. Zinmo people. Also, we're going to talk about the angel saying that she no fight over a man. And of course, you know, she had to talk about this whole situation between Steph Landon and Jada Kingdom. Zin, the angel also revealed that Bounty and Beanie seemingly got into a physical altercation over she. I don't know them, did I? You know, true words back in the days, but Bounty and Beanie good now. So, may I play the video so you can hear what angel officer say? Also, so we're going to talk about female reggae artists or dancehall artists Ikea clapping back at Jada Kingdom fans after they came for her because she do a song and it kind of seemed like she had threw some shades from Jada Kingdom. You see it, my people? And as the dirty money really made the pun as well. Also, we're going to talk about Mr. Lex supporting the clash between Jada Kingdom and Steph Landon. Also, we're going to talk about Queen Lady Gangsta running up on Bounty while he was walking and it seemed like Bounty never recognized her. She, so, you know, him kind of run away from her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the video, and also some people say Queen need to stop the them type of thing there. So we're gonna talk about it. Yes, it. And also we're gonna talk about Nigel Boy's manager celebrating after his song or his video. I should say reach a million views, and what about continent? One million views, my people. Also, Mr. Vegas, big up the youth, said speed, and what about Nigel Boy and this up Futa hype? Because you don't know Futa did forward out and say some things, but Futa never did that this Nigel Boy, so. You know, it kind of one way. Anyway, my people, before we go further into the topics, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate that. All right, people, the first thing we're going to talk about is D'Angel Zane. So, D'Angel did up on live yesterday, Zane, and you don't know, she talked about the whole war between Steph Landon and Jada Kingdom. Zane, D'Angel says she not like it. It no look good, it look tacky and all of that. Zane, she not go war over no man and all of that, right? You know, a lot of females that say it no look good and thing. Um, so she goes so boom now and I say, yeah, man, no, you know, a she man fight over and, you know, go on for say, the two top man them who she did there with in the business. Obviously, you know, a Beanie and Bunty. You know, know no other man in the business where she did about. She never call them names. She only said B and B. So we know a Beanie and Bunty. Anyway, she said the two artists them when she did with, them did war over, war over her, them fight over her, all them thing there. Reza B go on for ask her if she mean physical fight. She never say yes, but she never said no. She say, if you go Google it and see what is going on, I must see what's going on, is it? So it kind of seemed like she had said the two entertainers them did get up getting a little situation in the past but obviously we know that at the past and there are no friends are they are at least cordial between each other you understand or toward each other anyway let me get to the video now so you can hear what angel have to say and as usual my people you can tell me what you think about this in the comment section mm -hmm. as a war angel as a war angel i've been in a long chatting that's why i've been in a talking at the rate because all the thing they can tell me about in a two man when me ever taking a dance hall them can't tell me nothing more. So a wife me go and life. Yeah. It's written in the book of life. It's written in the book of life. They only can talk about B and B. Right. You know, I'm not going to buy the phone. 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 I'm not going to buy the Y'all forget. And the girl could have stepped to me. You understand what I said? No girl could have stepped to me. And there's no yeah. other after me. I want ANG. I'm just saying. I just making my declaration. Because at the end of the day, I got them two men alone them can't cost me more. I like me there with girl. I never there with a girl yet. So I'm in a shame. And I was at them side bitch or side chick. So ANG. You understand? Yeah. Both the wife and alive. All right. My take on it is my own fam. Speak up myself. My take on it is me like a woman fight over man. Fight over some building and house and property and rare. Me like when woman fight over some man. Me not like Big it. Woman. I'm thinking, I will talk. No, I me I not like real it. It, it, it. Me not like it. Me not care who want to win or who want to win. Who want to win, Ray. Me just don't. I don't like it. Because yeah. me not like 
man fight over me. Man fight over me. And it written in the book. Do you like when the man fight over you? Come in and go fight over me and say, you want to fight over me, up to you. But man fight over me. Two, you the two biggest, the two biggest, the, the two biggest, the two biggest, the two biggest, the two biggest, the fight over me. You understand? Well, I know. I never look. Never let them see and fight till they fight down. They let on best friend now. All right, all right. You know what, Angie? You know me well because you can't say that I'm not asking a question. What kind of question I'm not asking when you say that? What? When you say the two men them fight over you, what kind of question me I'm gonna ask you after you ask after you say that? Me know you are about Mister Post. Look at fight over the pang the pang girl. I, I, when you bring it, your prince man fight over you. When you bring it, your prince. Two, uh, a the two so. top, uh, well, know, the two top artists then. B and B. Me not call me. Cause them say me, me love mix up. Me not call the name. Me not get a name. Mm. B and B. Who want put the two B and B together after them problem? You understand? Physically fight to pump in a face. Have to kick down that chest. A face box down and top down. That fight then. Go and go Google. Me not in a no long good talking. Night. Where next question? Good. Ladies and gentlemen, go and good Google. Night. Go and Google it. No ask for nothing. Yeah, my people, so that is what's going on. You see, big up the angel set speed. You don't know the thing, girl. No, really, nobody no really have no dirt on the angel still because the only thing them can really say is say she did with Bunty and she did with Beanie, you understand? And you no, know, no, people might talk about the only fans thing, but only for people are do it, you understand? All man artists out there must say I do it now, even though I'm not really sure. But me, I say conscience is a part of that part, um, platform now. And, you know, I feel them business, me not really business. That's it, my people. But let me know anything about what the Angela say as it relates to the two entertainers them a war over. And also, we're anything about what she said as it relates to the war between Steph Landon and Jada Kingdom. You know, two women seemingly a clash over a man. I don't know, we're anything about it. Leave it in the comment section, all right? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Jada Kingdom reacting to the song that Steph Landon dropped today, this morning earlier and the name of the song is called <laughs> um dead girl walking you understand me and some people and i'm not going around you it have a vibe to it but me really and truly did a hope so she would have probably go up on the same rhythm but what i like with it still zane is that she really and truly answers some of the things them where jada kingdom did a say about her like her you know pedophile bread and them thing there she also address um jada kingdom did say what she half jamaican or something like so she addressed that tonight yeah see my people she talk up a bag of things i actually play a little piece of it only can tell me if you not like it or not in the comment section me just play a little piece if you want to hear the full song go up on the page on steph land on youtube channel after when i don't watch this i also show you a jada kingdom post and we'll take a look at some of the people in reaction in the comment section as well as my people so yeah check out the clip here <laughs> Yeah, man, so you don't know when the song come out. <laughs> a lot of persons, like me, say, I react to it. So I see Jada Kingdom go so boom and make a post here and say, One bag of promo to RASE. Good night, yeah. Good night, yeah. You see it. And, you know, she put the laughing emoji and the kiss emoji. So Jada Kingdom, not really impressed with the song. You see it. Um, she said, A one bag of promo. And one of the reasons why she says so is because when Steph Landon did post up that, that you're seeing on the screen, say, um, funeral service on tonight in loving memory of Jada Ashanti Murphy, you see me? So basically, Steph Landon I say she had buried Jada Kingdom, she had in her career and all of that. Now, initially, Steph Landon did want a hundred thousand comments to drop the song. Hundred thousand comments, you know. She never get it, of course, but she get a whole heap of comments. She did end up get over 30 or thousand comments. A lot of persons did upset her, say, why she had do that? She not just drop the song and them thing, which is understandable. Jada Kingdom did left a comment to say, I got the guy up with four question sign emojis. Why? 100k comments after you have the people in my wait whole day laugh my ass off. And she put some more laughing emojis, carny, and she put the carny emoji. So, 
Jada Kingdom obviously is not fan of this whole 100,000 comments thing before she did want to release the song. You see it, my people? So, you don't know, we're going to get to some of the comments them right now as some of the people them react to it over on Quest Time on Instagram because them they post a song over there. You see it? So, we see even female dancehall artist Talop commented and said, Ross, no, with the two eye emoji. Somebody said, garbage, shit, shit. Boy, oh boy. Somebody said, then this boring he kiss me teeth. Somebody said, boy, mama bury herself to PC. Better she never answer, because this is garbage. All the rhythm around left her. People, no feel like it's garbage, because I know some of you must hear it already. Zane, you no feel like it's garbage, or you no feel like it actually sound better than Jada Kingdom song, London Bed. More you no tell me in the comment section. Anyway, moving on to our next comment. Somebody say. Um, this is boring. I am my dress for nothing. <laughs> somebody said, better should they keep this in the studio to PC. Somebody said, somebody said, Tommy Lee from Temu. Because I tell you, know, she have a little Tommy Lee flow in it, you know. You see it. Um, somebody said, my glad my drop asleep because this still lame. Kiss me teeth. Somebody said, the internet could I do without this still because what the F... Oh boy, somebody say, um, you waste your time, make this, and them tag Steph Landon. You see it? Boy, oh boy, somebody say, me could have go sleep, you know, because me gone back to playing London bed. And of course, that's the Jada Kingdom song. So a lot of comments over there, and the people, them not like it. But me not like, it's not as bad as all them go on. I feel like them not really understand war, and, you know, Steph do her thing, people. Me not going to be biased and say it sound better than um, London bed. I don't know if it's because London bed upon a more popular rhythm because everything count when you put out a diss track. Zane, this more... Well, I'm going to know people. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just different. You see it? <laughs> also, like one opera song in a way, you know? But it, it, it can go on. People them kind of be a little bit biased, say the song boring. And it's not boring, but that's just my opinion. See, that's it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is female artist IK responding to the Jada Kingdom fans where I come off her after she got a boom and drop a song on the Dirty Money Reading. Well, I don't even know if it come out yet. I see Futa Hyper review it yesterday and him actually said it bad. You understand? And she had a true word and a call, burn a boy name, but she kind of do it in a little way. They understand because she says something like what she rather um burn a boy before she make a boy burn her. You see it. So you see how she used that? Burn a boy. So yeah, my people. But anyway, she goes a woman and respond to the Jada Kingdom fans them where I said she too enough and this and that. Because you know, since the war now, a lot of females have been giving their input and a lot of them are true shades. Me even said Dove Magnum put out a video and I say some little things, but you know, she she a go on. Do every magnum know what she a do. Yes, it's a lot of females. They might try to interject themselves in it, but them don't know how to do it. You understand? But, you know, because I care do what she do and say what she say no, it kind of hurt them one way. So, she went live on Instagram and she just dissed them up and make them know what go on. So, let me get to this video now, my people. And as usual, only can tell me anything. Mm -hmm. And I go forever say, pum pum and a commodity. So when you tell me if I saw me wrong with me say because me tell a girl say in 2024 and I don't know me I preach this. Cause it's been my slogan so who are follow Ikea and uh, who don't know me being a say this. Yeah. This been my slogan. And if me feel like say me say burn a boy before a boy burn me. That or that and that is it or whatever it is. As some say. That one they come like it lick at the door. Because me speaking facts. Mm -hmm. So uno no come to that boss say no sir. No sir. No. No sir no I care that. I went seal. Wait, wait, wait. Uno check back. Uno, uno go back now please. When me at that boy lenient wifey and them thing there. Uno, hey listen me now. Uno too enough, who not a was a me enough, and coming like, ah, who no too enough? Ah, who no too enough? My life said to act low, the neighbors no hear you. Oh, the neighbor, the neighbor should be. <laughs> no, sir. Ah, who no too, who no too enough, ah, that. Who no run out.
the mobs them run out. I won't know, man. Lift up John Crow. Now picture of like that saw. <laughs> Bright and fiesty. Huh? Where you say, where you say the fans them for defend me? Bright now, me no know no can it look like me thumb some people in a them back. Can't... <laughs> what on? Where you say the fans are supposed to defend me? Yeah, but if the fans are with a defend me, but me no know maybe me thumb them in a them back. I mean, I know if I say something wrong, but oh man, they have morals and standards and respect themselves. And not fight over. And not over something. Yeah, which boy we have fight over in a 2024? They may have wicked boy, yeah? Eh? Which boy me have fight over in a 2024? Not talk to me there. In a dem, yeah, time and age, yeah, me have fight over boy. Yeah, my people, so that is what's going on right about now. That's our IKEA have to say as it relates to this whole situation. You understand, my people? So, let me know anything about this. You know, me even see one post over from Pinkwall. I sure say, you know, a long time IKEA been, you know, saying certain things where she has saying at the song now. You understand, me? I said a long time she promote certain type of things. But really and truly, you know, um, just because it's in the atmosphere now, that's one of the reasons why some people are going to look on it and say, I yeah, try jumping at the war and thing. But I can't seem like she don't really care about what nobody wants to say. She got to do what she wants to do, say what she wants to say, when she wants to say it. You understand, my people? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So we're going to take a break as it relates to the Jada Kingdom topic. Zane, we're going to move on to... Um, Dr. Love, which is Niger Boy manager, and also Mr. Vegas, reacting to Niger Boy's song, Continent, reaching a million views in six days, my people. Congratulations, Niger Boy. I think this is his first million views. You see, my people, a lot of persons love the song, them love the video, them love everything about it. You understand what I say? And really and truly, nobody out there is not supposed to wish nothing bad for this youth because the type of music we him do, it is definitely needed in a dance hall. See, it's not a want, you know, people. It's a need. We need clean music. Too much derogatory music. I mean, I got to talk like me not listen to them, you know. But at the same time, want, sometimes I want to hear something different, man. You see me, and all the time I want to hear them rare. If you're there one party and you catch a vibes, I get a bubble pan, you Fine, but sometimes you're in your vehicle and you're a driver, you don't even want to hear them type of thing. There. You're a driver with all your youth, them. you can't play the nasty song, them, because you don't want your daughter to hear them thing. There. Even though they will still hear it because they on YouTube, but you personally as a parent, you understand? But anyway. So, they must celebrate it. Dr. Love, they put out a video and I'm going to play the video and then we're going to actually um, move on to where Mr. Vegas post on theme Instagram page. Watch this. One million and six days, them stress out. <laughs> Yeah, my people. So, that's how Dr. Love say, you know, you can see say I'm a troll footer in a way because footer did kind of diss him. What do you say? Niger boy for switch management and all them type of things. They see it. You know, according to footer hype, Dr. Love is a sprat and because Niger boy can say, you know, Dr. Love will do certain things and take advantage of him and things. I don't really think Dr. Love did that, but you don't know footer hype feel different and, you know, blaze a fire and all of that. You see it. Anyway, my people. Mr. Vegas now, him over there celebrate as well. Niger boy reaching a million views. So him repost it on him Instagram page and him say, Dirty Heart Footer, a watcher. No, Dirty Heart Footer, watcher. It's like the song doubled in views since you try half of the youth. Glory, God no like ugly. Yes, it. But some persons in the comment section are tell uh, Mr. Vegas say, Yo, Footer never did that this the youth, you know. A doctor love him at all. But like that person here said, Bad to bad Vegas, he never once said anything bad about the song. He actually big this song up. Vegas respond and say, You not understand them works, fam. Them give bucket of milk and kick it over when you not look. <laughs> Is it? Somebody said, Footer said the song was bad. I saw his review. Stop the cap. So some people over there are different Footer hype. I say, Yo, the man never did that this to you. And that's true. He wasn't saying anything bad about Niger Boy. Footer big him up. Footer probably are one of the first person to repost the song. And did I tell Russian say for authorize it or whatever it may be? Zin, I'm not gonna say I'm the first person, cause obviously I know him alone upon the internet. But him definitely was one of the the, the the first public figures to put it out there and then um Bunty did start promote it as well and things. So it's a good look, people. You understand? No negative vibes not for their own Niger boy and name none at all, because this youth here stay out and mix up and just put out good songs 
good artist and we want him yo we just want him reach a far way big up yourself Nigel boy and congratulations again Mm -hmm. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Alright people, so the next thing we're going to talk about is Queen Lady Gangsta running up on Bounty while he was walking. I don't even know I wish for this happened, but the video you can see Queen here run up on him and he's like, he maybe never recognized her she at first, but eventually he recognized her and embrace her and thing. I understand my people, but some persons that say Queen, you need to stop them thing there. And also a lot of persons that say, yo, Bounty changed, but if I did one time, Bounty would have probably get cross, angry and miserable upon her. Yes, it and that is definitely true. So I actually run this um, video now so you can see what I'm going on. And you can tell me anything about this. Mm -hmm. So yeah my people that is what's going on as it relates to Queenie. You understand me I say run up on bounty like that. Somebody left a comment saying Queenie if you build more time still. She if you build and stop antagonize people when she see them. I said what I said. Somebody said kill a frighten your F. <laughs> Oh uh, boy, somebody said, boy, Bounty really changed because if I did ever one time, she would have really said cross, angry and miserable. Big up to my artist for his maturity. Somebody said, and y'all wonder why Popcorn reacted the way he did. Remember, Queenie did approach Popcorn and I think she didn't want a picture or a video or she did approach him and Popcorn must have did shame her. You understand what I say? Um... Yeah. Somebody said for a quick minute, I thought he was shunning her. I was super happy to see the end result. Internet sensation need to realize that not everyone is for them. I love Queenie though. Yes, it. Um, somebody said she not learn from popcorn, you know. <laughs> Hey, people them can come up with popcorn name, but that is what's going on with Queenie. We're glad to bounty did still kind of embrace her in at the end, though, you see it? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. All right, next thing we're going to talk about is Mr. Lex, who says that the clash between Jada Kingdom and Steph Landon is needed in dance hall. So you know him support it 100%. So let me actually get to this article and only can tell me if you don't agree, all right? So it's a Mr. Lex says dancehall needed Jada Kingdom and Steph Landon clash. Mr. Lex is daydreaming about what could have been a clash for the books between artist Jada Kingdom and Steph Landon. In less than 24 hours, the women have unleashed this tracks taking aim at the other's orientation and personal history. But following her release of Landon Bed, Kingdom said she's done beefing with the Hurting Me artist out of respect for her rapping producer Bo Pardis Fontaine. Mr. Lex is among the Dancehall enthusiasts expressing disappointment about the clash anti-climatic end. You know what? The full hundred DJ shared on Instagram. The fans was actually looking forward to the clash with Steflan and Twinkle. In a weird and funny way, the industry needed that. He added, nothing more intriguing than two bad artists ago at it. And I mean people with talent. These two girls could have given us a really entertaining clash. Thing is, it can't be a friendly and that's where self-control and a good team comes in. His sentiment was shared by others who said that the culture had been yearning for a lyrical potent worthwhile clash between female acts and that the Eastside Queen and British Dan were a perfect match. Nothing no funny about it. The culture needed it. Real talk DJ. The warrior I get nice. Jada step out. Exactly. It's called entertainment. Not street brawl and stage. It's, it's both professional. Another chimed in. Fox. They owe it to dance hall. It's part of the culture having a professional clash and to then making up is key to marketing strategy today. Clash we say. Though Jada Kingdom has checked out of the clash, word on the street is that Steflan is already planning a response to London bed. 
Tension between the artists' fan bases have been brewing since June when Kingdom was spotted out with Steflon ex Nigerian superstar Burner Boy. Subsequently, Steflon took to her Instagram story to throw shade at a promiscuous woman, which some fans felt was bitterness towards Burner's possible new fling. Steflon would eventually clarify her post, saying it was a job at her former handlers. But July, Burner had named Job Kingdom in the remix of Byron Messiah Taliban, specifically singing. All of the best pum pum, they are Kingston, so me buy a Birkin for Jada Kingdom. Recall on Kingdom and the ninth turn me on hit. She stipulates that any man desirous of having her as arm candy has to give her a Birkin bag. However, she made it clear on one of her songs that she's quite stingy with her lady parts, though men can wish away while spoiling her in cash and kinds. So, people. That's how Mr. Alexei and a lot of persons support him. He say the clash is definitely needed right now between these two females, is it? And I feel like it's needed as well. I don't like it. It, it, it needed. I like it. But sadly, Jada Kingdom is done. Or at least that's how she say. Not sure if after she listened to, like, me really sit down, even though I talked about it earlier and show me where Jada Kingdom a laugh off of the song and thing. But maybe something might chip in her, you know. Maybe she might listen it over and hear a line where kind of touch her and she say, you know, me got going to the studio, got done the girl again. Or answer, or whatever you want to call it, is it. I don't know my people, I only can't tell more anything. But let know if you don't like the clash, if you don't think that the culture needed it. Two talented females, Steph Landon, fully talented. Jada Kingdom, fully talented. So it's not, but I feel like it's all, in a talent, the two of them are almost even, or even, I should I say. So you don't talk about who get more streams, right? Because obviously Steph Landon get more streams than Jada Kingdom. It is, it, it, it is public, a public knowledge that. But we're not talking about who get more streams, we're talking about talent wise. Two of them would have set up on the same level. So might not agree with me, but I don't care. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget for like, share, subscribe, and also head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4. I'm out.